beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for the second week of December and it's for you and your person, whatever that means to you, situation, job, relationship, bumble date. It's a general reading, so just bear this in mind, Taurus. And uh, this is for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you have a lot of Taurus in your chart, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is linked in the description box below, Taurus. And also, um, if you want to support my channel, I would super appreciate it. If you wanted to like the video, comment below, uh, subscribe to my channel. It just really, really helps me out as a small new creator on YouTube. Uh, and it just shows YouTube that my videos are helpful to you so that other people can see them. But it's fine, Taurus. I'll still love you if you don't want to subscribe to my channel. It's fine. So uh, you and your person, Taurus, let's see what's happening with the energies. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of kind of mild energy around you versus them readings this week. I don't know why. I feel like people are kind of, I feel like a lot, there's a lot of reconciliations. And it's just a, like a lot of reconciliations in the sense of just people stopping fighting. And even if they find they can be together, I feel like a lot of resentment is being let go by people. Or it's just something that's coming up in our readings. That's too many cards. But I do see here Five of Swords came out in the Emperor. A lot of pride uh, led to a lot of arguing. Uh, for you and your person. Um, there may have been a power struggle between you and them. Uh, yeah, and a lot of pride. And a lot of pride was hurt. And uh, a possible ending. Let's see. Uh, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. Angels, please tell me what is happening between Taurus and their person. In the second week of December. Okay, this just flew out. Six of Wands, the Tower, and the Two of Swords. Wow. This is a complicated situation you're in, but someone wants to be victorious, Taurus. Someone's going to shake up your reality, too. Someone's going to shake up your reality. I feel, like, I feel like there was a shake up in your recent past with this person. There may have been a betrayal or a feeling of betrayal, but someone wants to shake it up once more. Let's see. Please show me, angels, what happened in the recent past to make this situation so... Mm. yeah okay yeah as i said betrayal definite betray there is one million percent betrayal gaslighting lying um not knowing which way to turn even not knowing what to think anymore changes in fortune though uh things you don't expect here in this relationship and this connection will clarify all these all these cards now because there's some interesting stuff coming up here four of cups you got the four of cups for your recent past in this relationship um wow and the seven of cups and so we got the four of cups and the seven of cups and the three of swords so this is what make the situation as it is currently taurus this person broke your heart they betrayed you. They may have betrayed you with another person or it was just like, if it wasn't actual cheating, it was um, it was just feeling betrayed, you know? It was uh, just like someone who didn't show loyalty to you in the relationship, you know? Like they just didn't have that kind of stickability or um, it's like a specific thing, you know? Either they cheated or they made you feel inferior to other people or they would big up other people in public and like not say nice things to you kind of thing, you know? If, like for example, if you have a partner and they always compliment other people on their looks um, when you're out, but they never compliment you or they talk you down. I feel like it's that kind of thing, that kind of betrayal. They didn't support you, they broke your heart. They stabbed you and you felt stabbed in the back. You felt like, you really felt betrayed by this person. And I do feel like there is another person or thing involved. So they chose something above you. And it just literally just like you felt the blood drain from from your heart. When you realize that this person is only, always going to choose this other thing. Uh, this is going to be different storylines. So don't take it too personally. Uh, it's not going to be cheating for everyone. For some people it will be a profession or like, you know, this person chose their work over you. This person chose... Um, possibly a family member over you for for some of you it, it will resonate in different ways but it was it was almost like a form of cheating and this person or this person wanted you i feel like for some of you as well this person wanted you to feel like uh they wanted you to, to think they were cheating they wanted you to be jealous they wanted you to have doubts to always keep you in a kind of on a emotional roller coaster and not feel like they have stable ground like you have stable ground underneath your feet there's a lot of gaslighting here seven of cups they would say things do things then deny high 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 narcissist energy here 
not a positive vibe at all. Five, four of Cups as well. Um, this is someone who just didn't know how to ex accept or give love. They have no clue what love is. This is the person you're dealing with. But I also feel here, I do feel here the influence of family members or friends. That, that was negative. I feel a lot of people here were against you, Taurus, in this connection. This person spoke to their fran friends, uh, communicated with their friends uh, or their family. You know, take it as it resonates. And there's a lot of interference from those people. Maybe they didn't w have like, they didn't wish them well kind of thing, you know. They didn't like that you guys had your relationship going on, your connection. And they wanted you to... Yeah, they wanted you to feel inferior, so they would, like, probably, you know, talk bad about you or make this person feel like, you know, they would just, like, feed their narcissism and say, you know, this person should be grateful that you're with them, you know, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. That's what I'm saying here. I'm stumbling over my words. I feel like this person, I feel like this person uh, gaslighted you so badly and so deeply, you didn't even know... I feel like some of you may have like stuttered when, when you're speaking, like stammered, stuttered, like you, you couldn't get your words out sometimes because you didn't know what, what reality was anymore. Very, very strong gaslighting energy. It could have been that this person uh, put their friends over you, you know, just like they just didn't value, value you, you know, the respect was not there. For some of you, it is specific to cheating, but I feel like mostly it's just like what narcissists do, you know, like they sit, like they big up other people. They'll say like nice things about other people, but always put you down, you know, um, to make you feel inferior to play with your mind. Yeah, you were not in a good energy. For some of you, if you were living with that person or you, uh, you, you were kind of like, you know, it was a more serious relationship, you were surrounded by their family and their friends. And they may have tried to isolate you from your own situation. If it's a newer connection, it's just someone who, you know, was exhibiting those traits early on in the connection. It's someone who, you know, put a lot of other things first. Someone who liked to hang out with their friends, maybe... Uh, gossip with their friends about what you know like different things and they would do a lot of gaslighting from the beginning and they may have been it's like a nugging situation I see like you know you know what I mean like if, if it was a new connection and you only just met it's someone who nugged you a lot uh, because they were trying to destroy your self-value self-worth uh, which is kind of stupid but I feel like it worked a little bit because on some level you don't expect like it's like your person is the kind of person you wouldn't expect to be nagging in this way. Clarify the three of swords, please. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. A lot of pain. A lot of pain. It's like you were in a mental prison. If it was a new connection, this person really got to you. I feel like they must have love-bombed you really heavily and then, like, switched so quick. Eight of swords. Taurus, be so careful about this person. Take care of yourself. They put you in a mental prison. Three, seven, and eight. Three swords, four cups. Yeah, like they just, eight of, eight of swords is a mental prison, you know? Um, and someone who can't see things clearly as well. And you have that here with the seven of cups too. Um, it's like everything this person said would, was a lie. Everything they said was a lie. And it all came out. And oh my God, what a horrible situation you were in. I don't see, uh, I don't see here exactly how it ended, but I do feel... Uh, because the Five of Swords kind of jumped out before, I do feel a betrayal what had become so clear it could no longer be missed. And either this person uh, chose someone else or chose something else over you or hurt you so badly with their words, with their actions, that there was, there was no choice but to admit defeat in this relationship, in this connection. He's just not a positive person. Let's see how this person is feeling about the situation currently. Oh, Taurus, you know what? I'm just going to tell you, no, uh, no tarot here. Ne this isn't the tarot. It's just me talking. Um, you really can do better, you know? Um, whoever it is that you're dealing with, you may have, you may still have doubts about this person because this person, you know, with these kinds of narcissistic behaviors and traits, this person uh, is confusing. They will deny reality. They will behave nicely to you. Maybe, you know, in public, um, they're known as like a good person. They'll have a public figure persona, a mask, and then they'll be very different with you and very different with you maybe on different days. But have no doubt in your mind, this person is evil. Like, I'm sorry, this the reading is getting really dramatic, but this person is evil. Like, this is, all these cards are like just pure evil. This is someone who is a manipulator. Yeah, so this person would like to... 
this person would like to get back together with you they have the you have the lovers here and the three of cups they um their feelings for you are, are definitely still there uh you know i guess in their own narcissistic way they they feel like they love you they'd like to choose you but they possibly would like to continue the manipulation you know they'd like to uh continue to make you feel like they're choosing you but you know they have other options other choices that kind of thing but they still choose you and these two cards here in this particular deck three of cups and the lovers this is this is someone choosing that one person among others uh to some extent or celebrating the choice you know it's choosing the person um, and they'd like to uh, take a risk on this here with the fool. Um, you know, um, they're willing, it's like they're willing to not let this go. They're willing to take a risk on uh, continuing with this connection. This is insane. I feel like in some cases, because of the, the cards that popped out at the beginning of the read, I feel like this person was uh, the person who walked away or hurt you so profoundly or pushed you away, but they still, but they don't want to let you go. That's That won't apply to everyone. But if that applies to you, the person who was like, they were the one to reject you, they haven't let you go. Yeah, the moon, but they want to, you know, they want a new start, but they want to continue gaslighting you. They want to continue not giving you the full information, the full picture. They want to have you in their control. You know, under under the under the moon, everything with this person is under the moon. It's like the, they want to choose you, but they want to control you. It's all about control. They will deny it until the day they die that they're a controlling person. They are Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. Yeah, Taurus, um, you have a lot of love to give. You have a lot of love to give. And you're feeling a little bit lonely at the moment. You feel like, well, am I ever going to find someone that I can give my full cup of love to? Because because you feel like you feel like whoever it is, like, you know, relationship, connection after connection, I don't know, bimbo, himbo, you know, whatever. Uh, connection after connection, people fall short of your ability to love. That's so beautiful, Taurus. Taurus is so lovely. Um, I'm Scorpio, so we're opposite signs, but we share a lot in common, so I have a soft spot for Taurus. Uh, you got the five of wands, eight of wands that jumped out. Yeah, it's like, I feel like you maybe feel like you attract people who are very combative or treat love like a competition. Like, they tend to be vulnerable, insecure people who don't like to show their weakness, so they try and hurt you before you hurt them. Uh, because you're awesome, Taurus, and people feel your power, and people feel, feel your love, and they don't know how to handle it. Seven of Swords, yeah, there's a lot of deception, a lot of deception, underhanded behavior here from your person. How does Taurus feel about the situation currently? Yeah, you're kind of over it, you know? Um, you might be willing to talk, though. You might be willing to talk. You've got the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords, you know? You might be, um spying on this person a little bit you know keeping up with them just to see what they're up to uh you, you're willing to talk to have a truthful honest conversation you would like them to say truthful things to you i feel like you feel you haven't had closure because you haven't had this person open up to you and have an open honest adult conversation about what actually happened in the relationship because this gaslighting card here seven of cups is super super strong it's super strong and this person just like I felt this uh, when I was describing cards before. Everything this person said was a lie. Everything they say is a lie. Not like, you know, no truth ever comes out of this person's mouth. Excuse me, eight of wands. There's a part of you that would like to continue on this journey with them. There's a part of you that kind of cups card inside of you, the feelings uh, that's wistful for what used to be that you would like to start this journey again, or at least that would like to, it's like there's a part of you that, a small part of you that still feels something for this person and thinks, well, why, why can't they message me? Or why can't they approach me? Why can't they apologize? Why can't they tell me they love me? Why can't they fix this? And they can't fix this because they're a narcissist. So you're feeling wistful about this, but uh, the other part of you is very firmly on the ground. Ace of Swords here, you know, taking no ish. Taking no ish whatsoever. Uh, three of Wands fell out. Your person, your person is, uh, is, uh, your person is ready to make that move, I feel. Let's clarify, let, not clarify, but let's, let's see, let's continue. Uh, Angels, please show me this person's next move. I feel like they're going to be begging you on their knees, or they feel like they need to. 
but be careful because it could be crocodile tears <clears throat> yeah queen of wands okay since these guys saw uh, we'll just put them to the side show me angels this person's next move this person's next move Oh my god see i told you so i told you so taurus oh my god see you got the three of wands again that was the card that fell out that i said that they're gonna beg you on their knees but it's gonna be crocodile tears of you know <laughs> and tears of apology is crocodile tears it's fake this person is fake they're gonna be fake they're gonna make a fake offer towards you this week they're gonna come in kind of strong it's gonna be it's going to be someone coming in. It could be this week. Um, there might be a slight delay because we've got the hanged man here in the uh, in the middle. But it's uh, it's not just about a delay. It's about a change in perspective. Um, with the nine of wands and the hanged man, I feel like this person is going to uh, try this week at least or uh, this weekend. They're going to try and bring this uh, pause and communication to a break. They're going to come in and break this pause and kind of try and sail this ship to completion, you know? Uh, this ship here and the nine of wands they are going to try and complete the situation They're going to go back into the ring to try and fight for you and what they're going to uh, come in saying as well Hanged man and three of wands they are going to come in and say well. I've changed my perspective. I've changed I've had this time out. Look at me. You punished me in some way Taurus, you know, maybe uh, You say you would never forgive me. Maybe uh, we broke up or maybe I caused you to walk away I pushed you away but I've, I've been punished for it. I've had my karma. I regret it. I re regret everything that happened because without you, I feel like it was a punishment. And I, I've seen things from your point of view, Taurus. Things will be different now. I promise you. They're, they're crowning you. You see, there's one figure here. They're giving the crown to the other figure. But this is a false, this is a false surrender. This is a false surrender. This is a false surrender because the figures here, uh, the figure standing, standing up with one sandal, it, the prophecy said that he would kill the person kneeling. And the person kneeling has recognized this person, so he's trying to delay, the, d delay his death by pretending to be somebody else. But it's like, uh, in Greek mythology, the prophecy is that the man would wear one sandal and he would kill this king. So the king is trying to you know, pretend that he is not who he is. Literally. That is what this person is going to be doing. This fell out as well here with for your person. And look, they're going to come in. It's going to look like a love offer. Knight of Cups here. You know, beautiful love offer. New love offer. Uh, they're going to pr pretend to be your knight in shining armor. You've got the Queen of Wands. They're going to say, you know, nothing can put out this love between us. It's going to seem really real, Taurus. This is a warning. They're going to say everything is amazing. They're going to pretend to be a totally changed, different person. And, you know, for a while, for a while... It's going to be amazing here. That's what you, you got at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups and the Star. For a while, it's going to be super duper. If you forgive this person, if you get back with them, it's going to be like a, a dream come true. But then slowly but firmly, you've got the King of Swords. Criticism, sternness. This person will become critical. We'll start gaslighting you. We'll start saying, saying hurtful things to you. And you've got the Tower again. And things will get rocky again. And your whole perspective and world will turn upside down once more. And you will be trapped in this Tower. You will be trapped in a situation where a narcissist is gaslighting you. Is telling you, you know, that you're not worthy. Where this person, a narcissist or a person with narcissistic traits. I know it's like totally like a pop culture culture trope to call people narcissists but this is like an actual one um it's an actual situation where someone really has these toxic devastating traits that are not good for you before you go let me pull some extra advice for you as well Taurus because uh you know because your person is so shady let's just pull some extra advice on what else is coming in with your love life in terms of your love life please show me angels what else Taurus can expect in the next couple of months in terms of their love life if they don't focus on this particular person? Ah, beautiful. Reunion, happiness, family. You're very likely to meet someone much better, a much better option than this person. Yes, new beginning. Look, bottom of the deck, new beginning. A new beginning, Ace of Wands, and it's going to be passionate. It's going to be steamy. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be someone who really loves you for you. They're, it's like, you know, one of those, 
could be love at first sight, someone who can't keep their hands off of you. I'm not kidding. Like, this is the terror. I'm, I'm not just making it up. I had a feeling that we should look into what other options you have. Maybe for some of you, you already know this person. You've met them. You don't know that they're into you. Maybe it's like a bit of a crush and it'll grow. For some of you, you'll meet this person in the next couple of months. Uh, but the four, the four of wands is such a beautiful card because it's like, it is reunion, but it's like, um, also just like building a home, taking things to the next level. It's, it's that kind of home that's like a happy home where other people want to hang out at your house because you have such a great vibe. That is the vibe here. And it's like, you can build that with this person. This person would be, would be, you know, um, in the situation, well, will be, if you give them a chance, this person, if you give them a chance will be, will want to build something stable with you. Will want to um, decorate your home with garlands and, and you know, beauty and love. It, it's someone who would, who'd like to have a family, who'd like to start family traditions with you, who would like to celebrate you and them. I see you being very happy with this person. You're having a whole new beginning, possibly a whole new beginning in yourself and your identity, how you see yourself. Um, a lot of healing too. Wants can be very healing. It's vital energy. I feel like this person that you were dealing with, uh, that we're reading for, they drained a lot of your energy. There's a lot of swords, a lot of kind of, you know, taking, a lot of taking. This person was a, an energetic vampi vampire, you know, like they just kept taking and sucking the, the, the life out of you. And this person is going to give you life. They're going to heal you. They're going to have a lot of healing energy around them. This could be super, super beautiful, uh, Taurus, if you give it a chance. So I recommend that you do. Obviously, it's all up to you. It's all about the free will. I can't tell you what, what to do. This is a general reading too. So just take what resonates. But this is the advice that I'm getting from the tarot. And it will be um, it will be relevant to some of you out there. Uh, Taurus, uh, I wish love was easier, but it's, it, is, it is what it is. Uh, I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and may the angels protect you.